So we just had a absolutely terrible day in the stock market, a uh, abysmal day in cryptocurrency. And I know a lot of viewers are wondering, Orlando, is this the bottom? Is this the end of our crazy rally? If so, how should we invest? What should we do? Find out next on this episode. It's your boy Lando, success. Hope yeah! all is well with you guys. And you have Omar over here hidden on my phone. This is a sponsor video, so we're going to circle the block around with that. Shout out to Moomoo for sponsoring the video. If you want some free stocks, click the link in the bio or pin to the top of the comments. Yeah! Let's not play any games and we're about to kid. Let's get right into it. So this is the first thing we need to talk about. So on my channel, I've been saying the market is good, but we have one more crash to come. And unfortunately, that is the house in the market. So this is the only indicator I see right now that's bad. It say home sales are crashing faster than the bursting of the 2005 housing bubble. So for the young people in the building, I was around during the 2005 housing bubble in 2008. How I was able to get my house for absolutely nothing because everything was going to hell. So they're saying things are a lot worse than not technically a lot worse, but things are moving faster down than what, what it was. So we're not going to read the summary because we're going to come. We're going to go over this. Say exiting home sales continued their historic plunge in July to reach the lowest level in seven years outside of C-19 down roughly 1.7 million sales in the last six months not good not good so you see all of this you see this crazy down you know this was when c19 happened and we bounced up but now we are not too far from c19 times it's crazy to put the current pace of decline into perspective the housing bubble peaked in 2005 and then rolled over it Heading into 2006. So think of 2005, that was a peak. 2006 wasn't bad. But the speed of the de decline did not accelerate until the beginning to the beginning of 2007, basically. And this is an example. So think of this peak, 2005, boom, 2006 went, went bad, went down. Then right here, right in 2007, fell off a cliff. So imagine somebody right here falling off a cliff, then it went in that little sunken place right there. The recent six month slide in existing home sales is so steep that even the sharpest deceleration during the housing bubble could not match the recent pace in declining home sales. My man, chill, my man, relax, relax, relax. And that took nine months to fall in 2007 to match the decline that took place six months in 2022. Bad, y'all gonna see a graph on that. This is easier to see looking at the net six month change in existing home sales going back more than two decades. The current pace of the decline is unprecedented. Shout out to who did this article. Who was the person? I think his name was Chris. Yep. Chris, shout out to him that did the article. So if you guys are on Seeking Alpha, um, definitely check out him. And I have a promotion for y'all with that. Now... It's, it's bad, man. It is literally bad. Now, you see this right here. That's that level line right here. This zero, this zero percent. Zero percent. We over, under, over, under, over, under. This is where we at right now. Look how bad this is. Like, <laughs> yeah, dog, that is bad. We do not have um, the data for July for new home sales. We will get that next week, but looking at the six month chain through change through June this year, which shows the sharpest decline outside of C19 since mortgage rates were double digits back in the early 1980s. Jeez, man, this is, this is bad. Further discouraging news came from the conference board who posted that the July annual rate of change in their leading economic index. So LEI, LEI basically mean they take a lot of data and they basically, not the word, they analyze it and they come with a projecting or idea assumption of what to come in the future. Just think of that. So they use all that data and say, oh, this might should happen, but I'm a data person, so I like it. So plumb to 0% from its high in 2021 
it has now decelerated for 14 of the last 15 months. Who um, should it fall officially into negative territory in August? That will march the 13th time since 1960 or once every approximately five years of the 12 prior occurrences. 66% of them marked an early warning of a recession, while 33% did not. Now we have to first realize the data already showed that we are technically in a recession. I told people we're in a recession. Everybody wants to wait till data came out. And even when they told us we're in a recession, you had Jerome Powell and all of them. They like, yeah, we're in a recession, but we're not in a bad recession. It ain't that bad. Okay. All right. If you don't say so. All right. Here are those times the LEI dipped below 0% with no recession within a year and a half. So usually them recessions can be delayed 18 months. Here are those times the LEI dipped below 0% with no recession within a year and a half. The coveted soft landing. Soft landing, think of a plane, a hard landing, soft landing. Soft landing is basically the economy landing like this and avoiding a recession, right? So just think of soft landing mean avoiding a recession. So they're saying, here go the years, we came close, we did soft landing, we avoided a recession. 70, um, 67, 96, 99, 2016. We're in 2022 at the time of recording this. What does the odds look like now of another soft landing should we fall below zero? Not good, why is that? Well, the company economy was able to bottom from a soft landing, then resume higher. Inflation during those periods was a fraction of what we are dealing with today. All right. So in 67, inflation was 2.8. 1996, 2.7. 99, 1.7. 2006, 1. Class, let me know in the comments what's inflation right now. We had 8%. Like, and we're celebrating that because we went down from 9.1 to like 8.7 or whatever it is. <sighs> Lord. What are those soft landing downturns had in common was the LEI only, only marginally broke below zero. However, when it fell to negative one or more below zero, we fell into a recession every single time. Hey, go a chart. You guys can screenshot it. Y'all can see all of that good stuff Dad. on what's going on. Dad. Yes. Oh, wow. That's good. Given the pace of the current decline, I believe we will likely exceed that negative 1% threshold this month, which we will not find out until a month later because everything is delayed one month, which makes a lot of sense. That don't look good. So it's not too much we really need to read into this. Now, with what's going on, you're wondering, Linda, what does this have to do with cryptocurrency? We are starting the weekend, so we don't know too much how stock market is going to react, but we know the Dow, I believe, was down 200 points. So if we look at the stock market, that's why everybody was panicking with today. I don't know if they knew the real research, but people was panicking after that good rally. Because look, the last week, we basically backed down to where we was at. But look at this. Last month, up good. Last three months, up good. Last six months, we are basically close. Actually, we up. So we up in the last six months. So the market has been, go, has been recovering, really. But a lot of people didn't actually believe it. You look back two years, you see, here go our top right here. But now we're going like this. And if I looked everything up on Moomoo, you can probably see like a better chart of everything. But before we go ahead and get over to cryptocurrency, y'all can see what's going on. Let's give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is Moomoo. Do you know the hottest stock on the market right now? Is it Tesla? Apple, GameStop, you have to do your research to find out why it's trending and if you can even catch up to the market because nowadays by noon you get breaking news, 3 p.m. some different and by the night time it's a whole different thing. It's easy to answer all these questions when you use Moomoo, your trusted investment partner. And you can do that with Moomoo heat map. I'm about to show you exactly how it works. So you just open up the app and you click markets and on the left hand side you're going to see heat list. 
Once you click heat list, you see every single stock that's popping and they tell you why it's popping. Number one is AMC. It went up 18% because they just announced a special dividend. Number two, you see Tesla. They are declaring a three to one stock split. Understand market changes, find real time trading ideas in the palm of your hand. And if you sign up and deposit $2,000 right now, you can get up to 10 free stocks valued up to $20,000. Don't wait, invest smarter and easier. Download Moomoo app today. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Thank you for that Moomoo. Let's get back to the video. All right, so now we are looking at cryptocurrency. Crypto in a whole is down 7%. You really don't see this in a whole day. This is a crazy crash. Not a good sign for anybody, anything. You got Bitcoin is down 8%, 10%. You know, you got a lot of coins that's bad. So let's first look at Bitcoin and see what's going on with the price. Can we make sense of everything? So in the last day, literally sideways went down and now it's content now it's con now it's continued to just completely go down like this before flat line and go sideways for a little bit last seven days looks bad last month this is what i like to look at last month it's like okay when was the last time we seen these numbers i'll say the end of a video's last few days exactly what was going to happen so our low point right here was actually let me zoom in a little bit so we can get the exact low that was 20 we just gonna say 20,800 right so let's remember that number 20,800 bless you we are at 21,000 basically let's just say 21,000 even did we hit that 21,800 level bam 20,877 so this is as close as you're going to hit it you see the trading volume is up because people is getting scared you got newbies in here completely selling off because they scared so this is the mark where we at right now that's important for multiple reasons because now we got to go back even further and see the last time we went under that was when we went under 19,000 getting close to like 17,000. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, and my analysis, what I see, I don't see us going back down that far. It depends on how hard is the real estate bubbles going to hit us. Nobody know. You watch a YouTube that tell you what they know. Nobody fully know. We're going to find out. I will assume, and my knowledge is, we're going to stay in that sunken place again where we just try it trade sideways we go up we get spikes the spikes is going to be like this up to 20 right under 22,000 flirting it then it's going to go back down under 20,000 so we're going to more than likely trade between 19,000 and 22,000 and this is the time to just slowly buy and be able to get your 401 Bitcoin, get your 10 Ethereum like we coach, like we basically talk about. It only makes sense and take advantage of free stocks and free money, free crypto when you can because stuff getting real. Now some people want to know, what should I be buying right now? When things is very uncertain, you always go to your safe money. Safe money is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and another. What I'm looking for on this type of chart today is when the seven day percentage is close to 15 percent or more and which discounts can we find bitcoin about 15 percent discount ethereum close to 15 percent discount bnb if you're a bnb person you know you got it i'm more of a crypto.com cardano at 45 uh, cents so lana is a strong buy for me right now yes it could go lower but it's so much opportunity when it come down to Solana. This is the one you will actually still be able to make money while all the craziness is going on because their dips is harder where you could go down to like $26, $27. Then you can pop back up to 40 something. So you can buy low and sell high. So Solana might be a good one to be able to buy and take advantage of the opportunity. 
Now, what's interesting is when you look at Dogecoin and Shiba, because I said Shiba is doing great right now. This is the only coin that's actually in the green in the top 10, basically, right now. So it means it could fall even harder or it get a stronger support right now, man. So randomly, Shiba is honestly holding great. Shiba's like one of the best right now, if you really just look at it. The trading volume is over $1 billion right now. You ain't going to see that every day when things is getting real. So Shiba, we will see in the next few days if it's a safe bet. If you're an Avalanche person, amazing opportunity right here. Polygon, amazing opportunity. Ethereum Classic, opportunity. So that's really what you're looking at right now. Crow is down 20% and none of the fundamentals actually change. It actually Anything still look good. So when the market go down like this, and you want to wonder if the stock market is about to bottom out and stuff, first you have to ask yourself, what change? Like within the market, like today, what change? We didn't get any new data out here besides just an article I read to you guys. So too much honestly didn't change. It just can be fears of the real estate bubble. So right now we still got fears. Gas prices started to climb back up just a little bit. So, you know, you got that. WAR in Ukraine and Russia still going on. So not too much fundamentally changed. We didn't get a bad earnings from Apple today and crash the market or Snapchat. So honestly, in my opinion, take advantage of this and don't put too much money into it because more than likely we about to be in that sunken place for a long time. Shout out to Moomoo. Shout out to you guys. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. What y'all think the market is about to do? Is it going to bounce back up, trade sideways, go down? Let your boy know in the comments. I'm Lando Sess. Talk to you guys soon.